Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to do brainstorming over the question which is a part of MuleSoft Certified Developer Level 2 Practice Exam which is available on MuleSoft Training Portal. So before we move ahead, in case if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please do it immediately. So now moving on to the question, uh, it says that company has deployed an order system API to Cloud Hub 2.0 share space and made it accessible via the default ingress and what actions are required to implement the HTTP MTLS authentication for this API. So before we move on to the options, one thing you need to note here is that it talks about Cloud Hub 2.0. And as you know, in Cloud, Cloud Hub 1.0, the way we used to call it as the shared load balancer or dedicated load balancer. So those terminologies have been replaced by shared space and private space in Cloud Hub 2.0, uh, whereas the most of the features remains the same. And uh, as per the question, the system API is deployed in 2.0 shared space, which means it is going to use this uh, shared load balancer and it is using default ingress and the company wants to implement mutual TLS authentication for this API and for that purpose, what are the actions that are required? So the four options are first is there is no actions required. Mutual TLS is available by default. The second option is that Cloud Hub shared space does not support mutual TLS and the next two options they talk more about configuring the certificate in HTTP listener and clients HTTP requester. So these are the four options. So before we move on to the options or before we do some brainstorming, let's first check what this mutual TLS is. In case of TLS, whenever a client makes a call to the server, server provides its server certificate to the client and what client does, it verifies that certificate to ensure that the server is exactly the one to which it is making a call to. But in case of mutual TLS, things are a bit different because it's not only the server which is returning the client, uh, which is returning the certificate, but the client it also sends a certificate so you can see in this case both the server both the client and server both are sending the certificates to each other and both are verifying the identities so for implementing mutual tls there are two things that you need to have the servers they need to configure the key store and clients they need to configure the trust store so now let's go back to the questions and the options so if you look at option C and D, both mainly talks about configuring the certificate in the HTTP listener or client's HTTP requester. Similarly, this option also highlights the same. The only difference is that it says that self-signed certificate to be configured. Now the question talks about enabling mutual TLS into Cloud Hub and the way you configure the HTTP listener or HTTP requester in your code has nothing to do with enabling mutual TLS in your uh, Cloud Hub uh, shared space. So both these two options are not uh, applicable for the question because they are mainly related to the code implementation whereas the question talks about enabling mutual TLS in Cloud Hub. So this way we can discard option C and D. So now this leaves us with two options, option A and B and to uh, uh, validate our answer, we will go to MuleSoft documentation and confirm our understanding. Just a quick heads up, if you are planning for any Mule certification exam, then do check out this amazing practice test on Udemy which are created by my friend Rutuja. She has created practice tests for all MuleSoft certification exams and all questions comes with the detailed explanations that helps you to clear your exam in first attempt. You can check reviews and course description. All the links are provided in the description. Not only that, you can also get amazing discounts with the link that I have provided in the description section. So this is Cloud Hub 2.0 uh, MuleSoft documentation page and I have opened the shared spaces. So you can see here that MuleSoft clearly tells that you can deploy apps to the shared spaces in the region if you do not require isolation or do you need to connect to on-premise data center. So these two we can ignore for this question but the next two are quite important that you can your apps can use the cloudhub.io domain name rather than a valid domain name and finally you don't need to configure custom certificates. So this clearly says that in shared space we cannot configure the custom certificate rather shared spaces are meant to be for the applications which do not need to configure custom certificates. Uh, it also 
says that any of the following features and functionality requires a private space and if you look at it then these two are important to us the vanity domain names and customer custom certificates in fact for the question even vanity domain name is not in the context but in case if you get the question in your certification exam uh, talking about vanity domain name then this also you can remember so this clearly says that if you want to use custom certificates we need to use the private space which means that we cannot use the uh, custom certificates in the shared space also if i go to any point uh, uh, any point center then you can see for example uh, i have already deployed one app here and if you look at this app so in the ingress there is no option for me to update this default public endpoint so you can see this add endpoint is also disabled and this path rewrite and other things are uh, disabled for me similarly if I go to the private spaces so for example here is the private space so you can ignore the uh, messages but what I want to show you is that in case in this domain and TLS tab so this is the tab where you will be uh, configuring the key store and other details in order to enable the mutual TLS so if you click on this create TLS context so here we can uh, add this file you can add the private key and we can configure the key store over here hence the correct answer is no action is required cloud hub shared space does not support mutual tls authentication so that's it in this video if you find this helpful then do press the like button you can share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next part of this series